everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I am doing the second Halloween makeup tutorial for my Halloween giveaway. A couple of things. The last time I posted my first Halloween makeup tutorial for the giveaway, I wasn't aware about the Gleam.io, which is a website that allows for any YouTubers or anyone holding a contest to just have a system kind of do it for you. Um, so there's like no fishbowl drawing or anything like that. So it was after I had filmed everything and it caused a little bit of confusion. So some of the feedback I got um, was like, do I just subscribe? Do I just comment? And um, just make sure to click on the link in my description box below. It will, the link to enter, to officially enter into my giveaway will be there. The rules are all still the same, so you just go ahead and you click on that link to officially enter. These This goes for new subscribers and current subscribers. So what the website does, you're like, okay, I'm already subscribed, so don't think that that automatically enters you in. The system has to register that you are subscribed, so just click on that button. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, it says two ways to enter. The first way is to click on that button that says new subscribers, enter here and I think it says existing subscribers please click here to register it's just so you can enter your first last name email address that way I have a way to contact you and that way the system has a way of doing the random drawing at the end of this contest so it automatically draws a name for me I don't have any control over it I just click a button and it goes and it picks whoever which I really 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 like and I like put a huge weight off my shoulders because planning this whole giveaway was kind of stressful so um exciting but stressful so I'm glad to have found that so that is now the official way to enter into my giveaway there is two parts to entering the second way to enter uh, you will not be doing until after October 16th I should be done with all five of my videos by then and then there will be a compilation video and on that video you're gonna vote then you're gonna continue and complete your entries for the five additional entries into the giveaway if you have any questions about my giveaway feel free to email me my email is in the description box below uh, valid questions and concerns about the giveaway i will be more than happy to answer if you're new to this giveaway please make sure to check out the previous video i did um that was sarah sanderson from hocus pocus this one is going to be a female version of the joker also Please remember, the official way to enter now, moving forward, is through Gleam.io, and the link is in my description box below. So going back to this look, I am doing a gender bend it, gender bending, gender bent? Anyways, I'm doing a female version of the Joker. Now, my husband was Joker two years ago, and he was also another version of Joker, uh, I think it was Heath Ledger's Joker like a few years before that. My husband and I really, um, I think every couple has that one iconic couple that they associate themselves with. Do not think that I'm weird or strange, but we really love Harley and Joker. That's just always kind of been our thing. So um, we did two different versions of Harley and Joker. Thank you to those of you that have shown me tremendous support. For in the first video, I got a lot of feedback such awesome feedback and I'm very appreciative. People really like my intros, so I really had fun making it. So I really hope you enjoy this one as well. So moving on to the tutorial, I really hope you enjoy it. If you haven't checked me out on all my other social media platforms, please make sure you do just to see what is behind the scenes on what goes into making my videos and what I'm thinking for the day maybe. So go ahead and check me out there. Also stay sassy, sexy, and sophisticated. If you want to know how to get this look, please make sure to keep on watching. To make sure everything is locked in on Halloween night, I'm starting with the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer Longwear, 12 hour power, and then following up with that, my foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the number 112, and the Manic Panic Dream Tone Foundation, making sure that I get that perfect Joker porcelain skin. Of course, utilizing a damp beauty blender, I'm going to apply this all over my face, down my neck, and cover up any areas that might be exposed.
for powder, I'm using the Manic Panic Virgin Pressed White Powder with a powder brush, just applying this all over the areas I just went over with foundation. The Dream Tone and the Pressed Powder really does not give you that blotchiness that other white products would probably give you. Now going into my contouring, I am using a gray eyeshadow, just any gray eyeshadow that you have, and just applying this where you would normally contour your face. So here are the hollows of my cheeks, uh, also along my jawline, and I did a little bit on my temples, but since I knew I was wearing a wig and too much wasn't going to be exposed, I didn't go into it too, too much. Later on, I do go into contouring my nose, but I will show that later in the video. Now using the NYX eyeshadow base in White Pearl, I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. I really want to make sure that this does have a little bit of shimmer to it because the primer does have shimmer and I wanted to make sure the color did pop. So going into the Wet n Wild Spoiled Brat using that color pink there on the bottom, I am applying this on the crease with a crease brush and I will also be bringing that down uh, underneath my lower lash line. So now going in with Wet n Wild Petal Pushers, I am using that color purple there and applying that all over below, a little bit below my crease. Just want to go ahead and give that more depth by darkening in that area. So now using this darker shade of purple here in the same Petal Pushers palette, I am using a flat brush to pack this on my lower eyelid. Just go ahead and pack that on. We're going to blend that out later. Okay, so for the blending. A lot of my makeup looks involve blending, so get used to blending, blending, blending. You're going to blend that darker color with that lighter color and make sure that transitions nice and smooth. So I did go into the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and use the color Dark Heart uh, just to just give it a little bit more of a chromatic effect with the darker shades of purple. Just thought it added a little extra oomph. You don't, you definitely don't have to do this. And again, continue blending. So now going back to the Petal Pushers palette, I am using that black eyeshadow there just on the outer V. Just again to give it more depth and open up the eyes more for this smoky eye look. So now to highlight my brow bone, I am using this color here in the same Petal Pushers palette and just highlighting my brow bone. Okay, time for the fun part. So to do my eyebrows, I'm using that shade of green there and I'm actually going to use a wax pencil first uh, to make sure that that color really is condensed and that the hairs are all flat. So I'm using an angled brush and just applying it on my eyebrows like I normally would with any eyebrow product. This actually went on pretty easy and you can just shape it any way you like. Rule number one, careful with the color. So I got a little bit of green on my forehead, but it's okay. Moving on to the uh, black eyeliner pencil. I just used any black eyeliner pencil to line my lower lash line. So utilizing the darker shade of purple that was in the Petal Pushers palette, I'm smoking at my lower lash line with a small angled brush. Just go ahead and apply that right where you put the black eyeliner and then use a crease brush to, to smoke it out more if you like. Here I'm actually applying more of the pink to bring down more of that to give it that deep eye socket effect that the Joker has. So in this next section here I am contouring my nose and this is the part where I said I was going to contour my nose later, voila, contouring my nose. So the same way you would normally do it, you would just do it the same way, but just utilizing the gray eyeshadow. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
using the e.l.f. black liquid liner, I'm going to line my eyes and give myself a little bit of wing. I do this to go ahead and make my lash line look a bit thicker and it looks so much better with the false eyelashes. So doing this look, I really wanted to pay homage to all three actors that have played the Joker using Jared Leto's Joker character as my base and other elements. I will go ahead and explain what those are for Jack Nicholson and for Heath Ledger. To start coating my eyelashes for the false eyelashes, I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and applying my false eyelashes. So now the applying of the scars. I used a brown eyeliner pencil. I feel that brown instead of black made it look a little bit more realistic. So I'm just looking down at the picture of Jared Leto trying to copy the scars. Using a concealer brush, I'm just going across that to fade it out just a little bit so it does look more realistic. Okay, for drawing the letter J, you can see here I'm kind of thinking about it, like how am I going to do this? I feel that drawing with a eyeliner pencil is so much better than freehanding it with a liquid liner, a waterproof liquid liner at that. If you're good at it, the first time doing that, I give you mad props. Me, I have to do like the whole trace effect. So at least this way, if you make a mistake, you can easily wipe it off. So I utilize the same method using the eyeliner pencil and then going over it with Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Liner. This sucker was fantastic. It did not come off at all. I believe it is a dupe for another higher end product, but I'll have to look into that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a decent artist and this was pretty dang hard. So I just said, F it, I'm leaving it like that. I laugh at this every time I use this lip liner pencil. I've had this pencil since my wedding day, 11 years ago, people. So this is the MAC Black Courant. They do not make this anymore, but you can make, you can find a similar color product with any other brand. Um, I'm using this to line my lips and filling in with the NYX Perfect Red. And you will see why in a minute. Here's where I pay homage to Jack Nicholson's Joker character with the upper turned lip. I wanted to give myself that, that clown, more clown-like effect that he had. We're going to start blending the red lipstick and the black currant color together. Um, I'm using here the butter gloss also just to give it a little bit of shine. This is the next butter gloss and then I'm going to ombre this out a little bit by coloring the corners with the same lip liner. And of course, to finish this look off, I'm using L'Oreal Infallible Pro Setting Spray to lock it all in. And utilizing this color wig to pay homage to Heath Ledger's character. So here you have my Halloween look number two, the female version of the Joker. To enter into the giveaway, please click on the link in the description box below. Also, sharing my video would be greatly appreciated. Stay sassy, sexy, and sophisticated. And make sure to stay tuned for my next Halloween look. Until then, sirens. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna hurt you. Really, really.